Look at Capitol Hill now. A House Judiciary Subcommittee held a hearing today to talk about violent crime here in our nation's capital. There have been more than 200 homicides so far this year in D.C. And you know, we still have months to go. Our Rafael Sanchez Cruz sat in on today's hearing to see federal lawmakers weigh in on our local crime problem. Democrats called this a Republican political stunt, while Republicans blame Democrats for the rising crime in cities like Chicago, New York, and now D.C. But they both agreed on something. There is a crime crisis in the district. Crime is out of control and everybody knows it. More importantly, everybody knows why. DC's violent crime at the forefront of a House Judiciary Subcommittee. The crime we are witnessing just a few, few blocks from this building is unprecedented. Both of the females jumped over the banister onto the landing and began to punch and kick me while pulling my hair. Victims of violent crime in the district sharing their testimonies with the Subcommittee on Crime and Federal Government Surveillance, including Gaynor Jablonski, who was attacked by an armed man inside his business back in June as his four-year-old son watched. I don't know what this committee can do, to be honest. I mean, I think this is a D.C. problem. But ultimately, at the end of the day, it comes down to the mayor, the council, and the D.A. House Republicans taking jabs at the U.S. Attorney for the District of Columbia. The man who is in charge of prosecuting the criminals has abandoned his responsibilities, and that's Matthew Graves. Graves responding in a statement, in part, our goal is to get justice for victims. That's why we're on pace to charge 6,000 cases this year alone and have had nearly 200,000 communications with victims year to date about their cases. Criminal justice experts advocated for Congress to provide funding for the district's crime lab that has been unaccredited for over two years. Crime control expert Charles Simpson said Congress should stripe juvenile cases from the office of the attorney general and hand them over to the U.S. attorney for D.C. We don't support anything that takes more control away from the district. That's the first thing I'd say, like we're not looking for more federal control. Mayor Merrill Bowser did respond to this hearing, telling WUSA 9 that if members of Congress are interested in the crime in the district, she's willing to answer questions, but she's not willing to partake in the political game. On Capitol Hill, Rafael Sanchez Cruz, WUSA 9.